All right, Tiffany, where's your question? Let me go through the end and see. Tiffany has made it. Oh, there it is. Tiffany says, female, 43 year old, East Lake, Ohio, United States, divorced in 2010. After 15 years of marriage, I met a gentleman, she says, a month ago on eHarmony. We got on very well. I'm 43, he's 54. He's established and so am I. We are both divorced and empty nesters. Our family background is similar. We talked every day. For where's the rest? Where's the rest, Tiffany? Well, Tiffany Asso seems to like you. She says, "Wow, you're a hot girl, Tiffany." There's a competition for for that fifty-four-year-old guy. <laughs> Asso, what's going on with you? <laughs> No, I'm sure she's just being <laughs> being uh, complimentary and not flirtatious. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe maybe she is. <laughs> now, uh, where's the rest of it, Tiffany? What's where's the question? Okay, until she comes back with the rest of the question. Was it just a news a brief about <laughs> your life, or is there a question in there? Uh, there it is. Uh huh. <laughs> we talk every day for hours, if time permits. Our connection was unbelievable. After a month of talking and video chatting, we decided to meet in person. I had. There it is. It's one of those soap opera things that you gotta wait for a week until the next episode is <laughs> is released. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for a couple of seconds because this is a good long question. I don't know where it's going, but um, we wait. Every, I hope everybody else has finished the questions while I'm attending to this one. So we'll go into one long reading and then we address it. <laughs> uh, ah, Carmen says we can only type 200 sign oh i see that's why mm -hmm. yeah i understand it's short uh, it cuts you off okay i got it so we wait mickey says hello from macedonia europe hello mickey uh <laughs> okay tiffany says there's a lot more hold on okay guys go get your popcorns <laughs> we're gonna be here for a while <laughs> no don't be sorry tiffany i'm just having fun with you uh, we're just trying to be fun in these conversations uh, <laughs> as serious as it is but we like to have a good energy going so uh, take your time <laughs> hello Amina yes that's right haha <laughs> is exactly the words um, so while we are waiting I'm gonna go get some sandwiches and tea and everybody if you guys want something let me know I'll go get it so we will wait for Tiffany to finish the story <laughs> <laughs> Olga says, hello, Mehran, missed you very much. Well, then if you missed me, you should have been here. Now, you're just saying that, aren't you? <laughs> Excalibur says, I got my Oreos ready, Mehran. Good. Get some tea, Oreos and tea, or milk. Milk, for I remember we had Oreos and um, milk, I think it was, my son and I when he was six years old and we were in Hawaii. I never forget that night. We had so much fun and we laughed so much. And <laughs> when I went to when I went to buy some more Oreo uh, just across from the hotel, when I came back he had <laughs> he had what is this uh, silly line, silly uh, things that you uh, push the button and this thing goes all around and the whole wall and everything was all <laughs> what is it silly string thingy it was a it was an in thing then we had lots of fun we had laughed <laughs> so oreo is good especially for uh, you know occasions like this uh, i know it's 
unhealthy but once in a blue moon it's fine i guess oh yeah that's for sure that's for sure no doubt no doubt oh there's tiffany okay guys uh, commercial is over let's get back to business <laughs> and amina says i'm cooking and listening well make sure you share the cooking you know we, we are not doing this for nothing gotta get something out of it so <laughs> cooking <laughs> all right tiffany continues says i had some reservations because of the weight i have gained during the past couple of years while in a toxic relationship with an alcoholic that relationship ended in december i wanted this new gentleman of i warned i warned this new gentleman of my physical condition and he said he did not care he said i was absolutely beautiful on camera and we couldn't imagine not liking me in person all right everybody's in suspense tiffany we're going to turn this question into a book and we're going to market it and we will all share the <laughs> proceeds <laughs> And then she continues, <clears throat> when I met him, she says, he was pleased and kept speaking of my beauty. However, when I removed my coat, this demeanor changed. By the end of the date, he was honest and expressed his feeling about my weight. All right. Carpidium, I see your picture. Uh, we are, however, waiting for the uh, w volume two of the book of questions of Tiffany today, <laughs> because this thing is now. I bet you nobody wants us to pass by uh, this question. Everybody wants to see what's gonna happen, be happening. So hang on, guys. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a, um, uh, you know time here to to see the rest of this question ah there it is okay uh and at the end of the day he, he expressed his feelings about my weight she says and then she continues i understand and we parted ways i understood and parted ways i don't think he's a jerk i don't like my weight and I and shouldn't expect him to like it. I think we are the perfect match, but my weight is the issue. I've been dieting and exercising since and have lost 12 pounds, oh my goodness, in two weeks. That's amazing. I want to pursue him when I've reached my fitness goal. Is that a bad idea? No. Why should it be a bad idea? But the best idea for this to be your uh, focus, uh, a reason of choice, is actually how you would feel about yourself when you have lost that weight. You must turn that motivation of wanting to do this for him to you want to do this for you you must find that there's more pleasure in your confidence and your uh, meeting and accomplishing your goal for your own reasons of health and the way you like to see yourself as than it would be uh, for somebody else make the reason for doing what you're doing to be for you to be for your way of interacting with the world, with the, your day when you get up, with how you groom yourself to go out, how you would like to encounter with your, uh, exchange a, a conversation with your colleagues, uh, how you want to uh, envision how you would look like when you're walking around, how you feel about how you see yourself, your new self, with a new fitness level. These should be your total motivation. And on the side, there will be, he will be one of the people that you interact 
and you would like to interact with this person and other person and other ones the way you, the, the, the way you would see yourself uh, to be and the way you would prefer yourself to be in fitness level then you are on equal basis otherwise while you're losing your weight you're conditioning yourself that you're doing it for him and what happens if later on at one point in time it wouldn't work for this guy with this guy then you're going to be totally disappointed and thinking that you didn't accomplish what you set out to accomplish and you turn all these efforts of losing weight not to be a project by itself but it will be a sub a, a, a sub project of the main project being to 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 have a relationship with this guy to attract this guy and if that doesn't work then you will lose respect for the effort that you put into the sub project which is losing weight which is actually the most important one losing weight one is much more important than being in a relationship with this guy because this guy is not you you don't know much about him only a month he may change his mind or him things may happen in his life that he may not no longer uh, it, it, you may change your mind because once you have lost your weight you will have a different outlook of yourself and you will have a different expectations because we always whether we know it or not we compromise and we feel what do I deserve if you think this is how much you deserve what kind of person or what your expectation is it's naturally based on what you think you're all about and at this point in your weight department you don't think you deserve much because you, you don't think you're where you want to be. So your expectations would naturally be less than what you really deserve. You just compensate and you don't really know that you have compensated. You just, you just think that that's, that's really what you think you are. You should be expecting. But when you lose your weight and you look the way you like to look, suddenly, naturally, you expect more and you may not even like this guy anymore because you don't know right now if you have compromised in your mind some standards and expectations just because you think you're overweight and you should be reasonable you should be logical and therefore that has caused you to kind of you know round off your expectations you know come a little bit lower so what I'm trying to tell you is that what you're doing is great. Obviously, you're very successful in losing that weight. But change the motivation uh, f uh, that you're, for what you're doing. Make it to be all about you. You want to be uh, carving yourself the way, shaping yourself the way you like. You want to chisel your uh, structure like Picasso does. <laughs> or was it? Yeah, Picasso was also a stone uh, carver, right? Or Michelangelo, was it? No, Picasso. Anyhow, some real good um, uh, sculpture. Sculpture yourself uh, the way you like it, but make that motivation to be you, not anybody else. Because then when that doesn't work, then your whole plan of being fit falls into uh, gutter and you will not be motivated for it because you feel that you failed, you didn't get what you started for. Make your motivation... Um, uh, attack proof make your motivation uh, protected and be inside you for you and then it doesn't matter who ends up having a relationship with you or not you will not change that motivation. that that motivation will stay that's the way you should uh, approach this and uh, you know I bet you when you look the way you look you may not even you know consider this guy there would be because there will be so many other guys will approach you because right now you're on the hunt to find somebody suitable and then your weight is kind of in your mind. But when you look the way you will look, on top of the fact that you're going to be looking for what you're interested in, there'll be other guys also noticing you differently. So my whole idea is that for you, keep doing what you're doing, but do it for you, independent of this relationship. And when you are where you are, you will see if you're still interested in the guy or not. So don't sell yourself short. 
Don't shell yourself, Sean. <laughs> my, my warnings. Let me have some tea. It's a little bit dry in here, I guess. All right. Imitek. That's a new uh, addition to our live talk. Says Mehran is the best, but, but it's a good addition. <laughs> Carpidin says, I agree, Mary is best. Hey, I've got a crowd here. And Carpidin says, You have a gift, Mehran. I hope we can help you to grow and be well known across the world. Well, my, my appreciation. I am delighted to hear that. Uh, if you find this channel helpful, it's exactly what I have. Uh, I'm focused on I want to be able to help people around the world and at the same time I want it to become something that would uh, deserve a lot more time and um, we go from there um, Carpe Diem says I really enjoy your talks they have helped me a great deal thank you cheers from Alberta since nice warm day 26 oh you're a Canadian Carpe Diem says, I want Mehran to grow as fast as Jordan Peterson lets Jordan Peterson. Who's Jordan Peterson? Let's do it, guys and gals. Okay. Whatever. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, sure. And, you know, we have kind of grown a little bit faster than before. And it looks like all what you guys are doing, which is mostly sharing, I think the sharing of the videos is most important because that's what gives it this viral content thingy viral uh, character please share the videos that you like as many times as you can on your social media because that is really what happens and ask your friends to do that because if you guys think there is a value in here which because i think you guys do everybody has told me and we have now reached over 1.3 and somewhat million people around the world and we've got thousands and thousands of uh, um, comments that I've answered every one of them personally. So I know we have, uh, from the uh, emails that I received, we have really touched people's lives and helped out in many different ways. So I would hope that you guys will continue sharing the videos that you like in your social media because that seems to be the trick. Now, getting back to uh, Tiffany says, thank you, Mehran, great advice. Thanks, thank you, and all the viewers of your, pa uh, all viewers for your patience. Okay. <laughs> and Tiffany says, by the way, I have twenty-seven pounds. That's it, twenty-seven pounds to go. I thought the way you're talking, I thought you were talking, you're, you're, you're trying to draw an image of a balloon. Uh, so obviously, it's not going to be a long term. You're going, you're going to finish this thing within a few months, and wow. Go for it. Go for it. You'll do great. Yes. Carmen has a very good uh, suggestion comment here. Says, Tiffany, please do it slow and steady and safe. Okie dokie. This is very important, Tiffany. And um, you must, you must, if you want to have it sustained, and become part of your system you need to give it a little bit more time to become part of your habit of new habit of eating and exercising and lifestyle the longer it takes for you to lose that weight within reasons in other words if you don't do it so quickly which is only means you're losing water not necessarily fat but if you do it methodically and properly in a healthy way, expand it to its necessary time, not sooner, then your body will react in a healthy way. It learns what you expect of it. It compensates where it's not getting and it will compensate it with good nutrition and expects itself to continue this lifestyle and it will not become a pain or chore. And when it's no longer pain or chore and it's a habit and lifestyle, it's a natural and normal way for you, for your system to feel and want and des desire you to, to have that lifestyle of 
you know, less eating and more exercise and so on, whatever you, you, you're doing, then you will not suffer and you will not think it's a, it's a uh, diet. You will just say, that's the way I live. It just won't have the craving. Not that wants the craving, but you're doing this. It constantly is spending so much energy for your willpower. But if you turn it into your lifestyle, the way you feel comfortable, because you eased into it and changed your bodily need of um, and nutrition and, and stuff that you never needed, and you change that habit for your body, the body will feel comf uh, uh, comfortable for following what you ask it to do. And it will not become a chore. And when it's not a chore, you will stick with it. And that will become you. Otherwise, if you're doing it for this guy, and then it didn't work, you will let it go. And you will go back to the size that you were. And then you will do it for another reason. Because let's say you have a wedding to go, or you have a party to go. And again, you shrink it. And, but once the party is over, there's no more reason. Make that reason to be you, your health, if it's just higher than any other motivation, and then you will see, not even you'll, you'll stick with the way that you, your weight will stick with you the way you want it. You will not gain anymore because you just don't want to eat that much more. Your lifestyle has changed. Then your body's need for nutrition will change. And your whole psyche will change that. I don't need to compensate for the things that I can't resolve for eating. And eating will not become something in your mind that it is resolving something. You know, often people, when they can't uh, cure something, whether it's a uh, thought or is a concept or if it's a illness, they eat because they think they're doing something. That doing something uh, makes them feel good and the feeling good makes them think that they're actually remedying whatever the problem is whether it's illness or psychological or a thought that they're dealing with, whatever it is that eating makes you feel good and making feel good makes you feel like you're advancing in resolving or solution that you're looking for for whatever it is that is, is uh, uh, you know, um, occupying your mind. So don't let that happen and uh, ease into it as Carmen said and then you will have it as you, not as for somebody.